scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. <coughs> Phew. <laughs> Hey everybody. everybody, welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Trenny, this is C. Tonight we are pushing something especially good. <laughs> pushing These it? coins, no. the Trenny and C <laughs> challenge coins. Why don't you show the people how cool they are? Bam. I mean, they could. Oh, 2020 Survivor Edition, look at that. What? Survivor Edition, because hey, we made it. Well, I mean, it, some, I, some people didn't, I guess. So it's like not that great. It should be called twenty twenty. Well, no. Anybody that buys one, sir, probably Presumably. survived. Presumably, <laughs> hey, hey, we're this close. None of us are going to survive but in the long run. So whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But look at what they can do. They can flip. Yeah, they can go on your. You can stack them. You can stack them. Stack them. You can they, crack them. Uh, they go. They roll downstairs. Go, Nobody cares. Oh no! Look at that. They spin like that. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, um, hey, but just go to uh, to buy them. PayPal twenty dollars re- recipient trenny and c at gmail dot com. Yes, um, that's all you simple, need to know. Very simple. Now let's get into the good okay. stuff. Forget about these. Um, all right, uh, our good buddy Paul Letko uh, from Few Whiskey uh, was kind enough to share this bottle with us, so which cool. is the Few Immortal Rye. Rye whiskey with eight immortals tea, forty six point five percent. That's like the sweet spot of percentage. That is, and it's very cool. Say that again. The sweet immortals tea. Sorry, so, the the uh, the eight immortals. Eight tea. immortals. That's what I mean. Um, I said sweet spot. In, infused with tea. Right. That's amazing. Uh, <clears throat> so it says, few rebels in the atypical. We take our grain to glass cask strength straight rye and yes. bring it to proof with cold extracted eight immortals oolong tea Ooh. for a rye of unusual delicacy and complexity the spice of the rye folds into the fabled eight immortals tea to bring an overlay of peach honey and exotic dragon fruit that is otherworldly uh join the immortals uh very, very cool that's so cool and um and that's master distiller paul hutko who uh we've been in contact with him we yeah. plan on going live with him at some point uh, yeah we in really ho- hope so and and i can tell you right now before we even pour this i can't wait to get my hands on other versions of this this company's whiskey because again another company doing things that are a little bit different infusing it with tea um we over the years have color too. i know it's such a great color we over the years actually sometimes will say like it's got like a tea kind of finish right, to it, right, so right. it really actually makes sense. It does that uh, that they would infuse it with that, and a lot of whiskey companies that have a lot more free range to do what you want these days. It seems. Yeah, and you know what? So few is cool. few is doing some cool things. They have like a cold brewed uh, coffee, bourbon, and they're bringing in everything at like forty six point five percent, which is awesome. awesome. Um, the problem is getting it here in Canada is a little bit different, or different. Yeah. It's a little bit difficult, I should say. Yeah. Um, there is one offering I think in Ontario, and I think it's the regular bourbon, but um, probably excellent stuff. Yeah. This is again, this is a rye. Um, so this look has how, look those... how dark and like red. Like this is like a cedar kind of like red going on there. Like that is very cool. Honestly, okay, you you just said cedar is color. Yeah, and I put my nose to it, and there's this like really in the oh, middle of the is. woods kind of like forest botanical kind of smell to but it. But it even, has... even like a slightly. I don't. It's not piney. Something like that. No, like but you're a, right like a, because it is. It is like, literally, it is kind of cedary because it's like you're cut through that cedar. It's like yeah, it's, it's like, like that fresh shavings. wood. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little got a little sawdust kind of thing going on. Some sawdust, but then you get to the the meat and the bones of this thing, and there's but a, it's a true rye. Like that's well, a real rye nice, nose. like uh, nice we, spicy rye. And I will say like. From we've dipped into this bottle a little bit, and we've always been relatively reluctant to genuinely promote something that a lot of the time these kind of independent craft distillers in the United States 
promise a lot and then don't deliver. Well, they price a lot. They price a lot, <laughs> but they also promise like that it's, you know, this, or, that, or, or the people other, talk yeah. it up a lot. Sure. And, and we've generally kind of disagreed. Yeah, we've been disappointed a lot of times. Right. Where this one, I can genuinely stand behind it and say like, this is an excellent rye. Because it's so different too. Well, it's got that bubblegum dust kind of nose, that a little bit spearmint kind of. I'm getting a tiny, lot of the um, the sourness though, like this the the, sure. the, um, the sour spice, which yeah. is like really nice. Like it's a very that refreshing. one was kicked out of the Spice Girls. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, one of the least favorite Spice Girls yeah. for sure. But um, like it's so pleasant in how. Uh, like how it arrives with that like yeah. sour and spice and it's not really there is a little bit of a sweet thing going on as well but but it's kind of like it, it's like a that f fresh virgin oak kind of sourness without it being the fresh virgin oak folds well into rye though yeah it totally does you know they what i mean like, they, they do it's and, and be... did we mention the percentage on this yeah 46.5 yeah 46.5 that works so beautifully. Okay. Um, and, I don't want to upsell this too much because it knows we, we hopefully though. pride ourselves on telling it how it is a lot of time. Yeah, but, but you know I'm what? liking this more than say, okay, I'm going to just say it right now. No, you're calling somebody out. I'm calling someone out. This is better than the Whistle Pig 10. Well, yeah. But a lot of people say that's the best, right? <laughs> a lot of people love know. that and I just don't agree. Yeah. No, anyway, uh, great nose, very different. It offers something that's unique. I think for the the whiskey drinker, if they smell and taste this, they're gonna. It's a bit of a journey, you know. No, it's cool. Okay, here we Let's go. Let's it. give it a sip. Woo! Forty six point five works really well. Yeah, but like I think it's it's nice. Like I'm actually I'm not blown away by the forty six point five. Like forty six point five is like forty five percent is always like that nice sweet spot, and I think yeah. it's nailed here because like. It has some presence and it has some life to it, but it's certainly not blowing me away. Yeah, I, I think there's a little bit more presence of a sweetness on the palate, which is nice. Um, the rye is definitely, like, I think it's more the who is the rye. Like, it's a mm. big, bold rye. It's spicy. It's got a little bit of, like, a dill pickle kind of thing. It's got a little bit of, like, that, and, it, uh, like, it numbs your tongue slightly. Mm. It's nice to have a mouth presence like that, though, mm. right? Because a lot of times you can get into those between 40 and 43, and they can be a little bit of a dullard at times. <laughs> like you. A little bit of a dullard at times. <laughs> this, however, I'd bring to the, this, however, I'd bring to a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry about that. Mm. <laughs> I don't get passed around at a party as much as <laughs> Not as much as you used to. Um, mm. Mm. I got a little bit of a chocolate note there just for a second, which yep. is kind of, kind of different on a rye. Um, but there is definitely a uh, like a tea. Yeah, that oolong out. tea is definitely it suits the rye because a lot of the time that tea kind of note is on the finish where it's like like very tannin like and herbal or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the honey is there too, you know. I was like, gonna say, like they say peach, honey, and exotic dragon fruit, and I just got a little bit of a, even an orange note. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say there's any dragon fruit there, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I don't know that I know what a dragon fruit is. I've had it a, quite a few times, and it's. Have you never seen dragon fruit? Isn't it like it was that star fruit? I don't know. Dragon fruit is like, it's a red fruit. Pinky in oh, juice. Oh, yeah, okay. And yeah. it's kind of got spiky little, yeah, it's got yeah. scales almost. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what it tastes like. And then like, you though. chop into the center of it, yeah. and it's white with black seeds. Oh, okay. And it has like the texture of like a, an apple, but the flavor of like a kiwi kind of. Oh. Yeah. Well, now that I know that. Hmm. <laughs> mm, texture of an apple. <laughs> Dragon fruit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, pretty solid stuff, though. Like all around. Great. Like, they're a relatively new company, um, and it's a competitive world out there in the bourbon and rye and whiskey market in general, 
So if you can actually make a good first impression... Out of Illinois as well. Right. So that's cool. So, and that's just it. Like, a lot of these we kind of mentioned, we don't promote all the time Mm -hmm. because they don't leave good first impressions. And this one gets me excited. You know what the thing is? Is that uh, we get products for free, to your point. Occasionally. Okay, occasionally that we don't talk about because yeah. we're like, we you know like we can't stand behind this product. You know, don't look for it. Just leave. <laughs> like grain whiskey. Stop. Sorry. We get certain bottles that we yeah. cannot sit here and say good things about. Like if we buy our own bottle and it's shitty, That's we're gonna different. tell people that it's shitty. Yeah, yeah. But if we get one from somebody for free, it's like ah, I can't really like. Say yeah, you, you feel bad. That, right? You feel a little bad. Yeah, but I, I just hope that uh, people know that that know this channel. Yeah. And so when we say that this is something to so look out get, for, yeah, look out for this one. It's good. If we're gifted a bottle and it's really good, then we're gonna say it's really good. Yeah. So here it is. So um, yeah, we will uh, hopefully be able to connect up with Paul and do a live stream and talk more about few spirits and. Totally. Uh, yeah, because we'd like to. We'd like to actually drink more few spirits. Yeah, I'd like to try a lot of our different products. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's been fun. Um, oh yeah, we got these coins. By the way, just in case you were wondering, mm-hmm. the coins we are using in this video, which you could potentially have in your hands, which I've had in mine. Mm. Not that that matters. Okay. Oh, it increases the value. Does it increase the value? No. Nope. My sweat. Yeah. Um, right. This is number forty. There you go. There you go. Made in America. That's true. Made in America, right there. Yeah, yeah. Support, support America. <laughs> <laughs> support Trinity and C, support America. We're Canadian. Fuck, worst, worst video ever. Okay, cheers. Right, cheers, click like, subscribe. Leave a comment. Please don't comment. <laughs>